Hey everybody, the Bong is here ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Monster Party for the NES and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com Alright, while I was brainstorming for an idea for a Halloween special, I thought of a game that I used to play when I was a kid that was really rough to me, but I did beat a few times before. And it would be this game, Monster Party. It was a game I remember as a kid being quite difficult, and a bit creepy, but also very strange at the same time. But without further ado, why don't we just start the game, shall we, so you can see for yourself what it's all about. Mark was walking home from a ball game, at night unsupervised, mind you. He looked up and saw a bright star. While he stared at it, the star got bigger and bigger. Unlike his star in Baseball Universe. Ooh! The beauty of the star made his eyes moist, so he didn't notice that the star fell and landed right in front of him. It wasn't a star, but a monster, Mark quickly asked. Uh, who are you? I'm Bert. Yes. This strange gargoyle slash falcon's cre falcon creature is named Bert. Uh, what's up? I'm looking for help. Evil monsters are out of control. In my world. You know, compared to the good monsters that look evil but are completely unevil whatsoever. Come and help me. I'm afraid to fight the evil monsters, but you know, I'm not afraid to walk home by myself late at night where there's burglars and rapists and terrorists hanging around. Don't worry. With your weapon, that's a weapon, you'll be able to destroy them easily. <laughs> they put the period on the next line. Duh, this isn't a weapon. It's a bat. Bat? Better. Anything is okay. Anyhow, let's go. Bert grabbed Mark's hand and flew away. What's your name? Uh, it's Mark. Mark, my planet is dangerous. So we must act together. Oh! Like this. Then they fuse together. Wait, what? This is how Mark's adventure began. Round one. I mean, even, like, the level intro is very creepy. I mean, look. It's a pool of blood, and there's skeletons hanging around. Is that something a little kid wants to see? Okay, now I'm gonna take on these little emos that like to shoot arrows, I think it is. But you can actually bat them back at them. Which is pretty cool. In case you don't want to use the actual bat as a weapon, or melee weapon, and legs? Now you gotta look through all these doors and try to look for monsters you gotta kill. Hello, baby! In this case, it's a potted plant. Why? Don't ask. So really, you can either use your bat as a melee weapon, or try to hit the bubbles back at him. I recommend just batting the bubbles back at him. Because if you get too close, chances are you'll just take some hits. You just gotta wait for the right angle, and there you go. I'm guessing this helps people with baseball practice or physics practice as well. But basically, you will be batting projectiles back at enemies or bosses a lot. Just be sure to take the angles into play, and you'll be just fine. Well, this first boss, so to speak, well, technically... Anytime you find a monster inside a door, is a boss. So you find multiple bosses in certain levels. And you gotta try and get the key in order to finish the stage. To get the key, you basically had to kill multiple bosses. Well, pretty much all the bosses in each round. Okay, let's try things a little faster. Well, that works. Okay, when you fuse with Bert, Grab this question mark, you can actually have the ability to fly and use range attacks. And you can actually duck while attacking as well. Something Mark, for 
some reason is unable to do. Oh, health! I want it! You have, like, a very large health meter, which is very nice, but unfortunately, it doesn't start full. So you had to hope that you can actually find health meters on the way, or hearts. Okay, it's empty, so let's see what this has. Oh, it's just points. Eh, points is not bad, I guess. And this game also has a password system, so if you want to, like, continue at a certain point, just enter the password, there you go. Luckily, I don't have to worry about spikes. Uh-oh. Apparently, I'm bird for a little while longer! Let's get over the spikes! It's good enough. Sorry, I'm dead. Okay, so basically, since this spider is, well, dead, I'm just gonna do nothing. There, I win! Yeah, you'll find that some of the boss battles, or, well, monster battles in this game, are very weird. Like, some of them just don't make any sense at all. Oh my god. What the hell kind of cactus is that? Um... Uh, okay? The cactus got weird, and now all those faces turn into bleeding skulls! That's something I wanted to remember. How the hell did I not get traumatized by this game as a kid? I mean, look at this stuff! I mean, this is 8-bit blood for crying out loud! The fact that I managed to still have a normal childhood after this game is beyond me. Please don't pick on me! Screw you, I'll pick on you as much as I want! Okay, this monster can be a total pain in the ass because it's very difficult to get past him. He keeps, like, spamming these little pumpkins to shoot right at you, which you can bat back at him. But the fact that he barely jumps means you're likely going to be taking contact damage. So just hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Oh, I got him! I shoved a bat up his ass, but I still win. But man, I only got like seven bars of health left. But I got the key, so I can look, go for the exit. If I can find some more health, that'll be super. Okay, is there any health over here? No, there isn't. Come on, I, I just need like an extra bit of health. Thank you. I think that's the door I need to take. No, it isn't. I gotta go further ahead. But remember, you can't exit the level until you find the key. Usually the key, the door you're looking for, is very ominous. One that can really stand out. Oh, nice! That was a perfect headshot. I don't think there's anything in here. Well, that would make a lot of sense. I mean, since you took care of all of the monsters in this level, you're not going to find any more. Okay, that's the door I'm looking for. Alright, stage clear. There's eight stages in the game, to mo just in case you need to know. 3RG, WTL, PDH. Alright, let's do level two. Now we're in a sewer. Um... Please tell me that's not blood. Oh my god, is, is that like a, a fish? With human legs? I mean, you can jump while you climb the ladder, which is nice. But unfortunately, you just keep climbing the ladder automatically. That can be pretty bad in case you just want to get down faster. Alright, let me try this door over here. Luckily, there's no time limit. So you can explore the level at your own leisure. Let's mix it up! Um, no. Okay, I can't really just hit him from beneath. So yeah, this Medusa-like creature, you basically just gotta keep batting him in the head. Or get a little fixed distance so you can actually knock these little mini Medusas back at her. At least I think that's a her, I don't know. That could be a him. I can't really tell 8-bit genitalia, because, well, there isn't any. Not in this game, at least. Alright, time to birdify! 
Pills are good. That's what a kid needs to hear. Take some pills, you'll turn into a gargoyle that shoots things out of his eyes. Well, I tried these pills, and then I woke up in the hospital with a stomach pump. I just wish I woke up before the meter expired. I guess I'll have to try another one. Wait, is that a Yoshi egg? Well, let me try to destroy it. Actually, I don't think I can. Well, actually, you can. It just takes a lot of hits, apparently. Okay, there's another door over here. Can I approach it from the right? Yes, I can. So let's try this one over here. And it's empty. That's the thing about this game, is that you can go out of your way to find a door, only to find it as absolutely nothing. But I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. Just go for the next one. There is one level that's a total pain in the ass when it comes to that. And you'll find what uh, what that is later on. And just bet the bubbles back at the egg. It's a lot faster than just shooting at it from a distance, apparently. Oh, time to birdify again. I wish it lasted longer. Okay, is there an easy way to get to the door? Actually, there's a second one. Let me try the bottom one first first, but I have a feeling the one in the middle is going to have a monster. Empty. Great. That was a colossal waste of time. Oh well, it happens. I take on fish head and purple alligator and tungy with white teeth, which I don't understand because I don't think this guy can operate a toothbrush. Maybe he has those Denta bones from Pedigree, I don't know. But in any case, let's wait for a bubble. Home run, yeah! Look out, baby! Wait, are we fighting... Deep Fried Shrimp? Here I come! I told you this game was weird! So yeah, you're taking on... Deep fried shrimp. Luckily, it keeps hopping, except for those instances where it just skids. Hopefully, you don't get right in its way when it skids, and that just happened to me, by the way. These are the sad cases where you want birds to just so you can fly and hopefully avoid some enemy attacks. But if I remember correctly, this battle is actually three phases. Now you gotta take on a, an onion ring. A hopping sentient onion ring. Yeah, that's probably the first time that sentence has ever been uttered. The uh, sentient onion ring that you got to battle. It's like I've heard of people battling onion rings, but that's usually cravings. Tempura now! Either that's tempura or that's deep fried hot dog buns. Or even deep fried shit, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, look at it. This is one of the weirdest games you'll ever play. In the 8-bit era, of course, and I won. I almost didn't, and wait, why can't I grab that? For some reason, I can't. But now I really need some health. And that wasn't even the last monster, either. If it was, I would have got a key by now. So, let's... Stay on the lookout for a key. I mean, look out for another door. Or preferably more enemies so I can get a chance for more health. That works. Come on. Thank you. Thank you for shooting your brethren at me. It makes my life a little bit easier. But now I need a lot more health. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. I'm right here. Oh, good. That's even more health. Wow. And that had no enemies. Oh, I was hoping for that was even more health. If it was even more health, I'd be happy. But then it wouldn't seem like such a waste of time after all. But, I mean, if you're on... 
if you're not very confident about taking care of an enemy, you can always just hang around. Or my, by enemy, I mean monster. Just hang around, kill more standard enemies, and hope they drop a ton of health. But do this if you don't suck, because if you do suck, then chances are you're going to be taking more hits and you'll be trying to avoid. Okay, good to know I can duck that bubble, even though it seems I was obviously going to get hit by it. Okay, that door is a very long distance. You have to go up. I mean, actually go right, then you go up, then you go left. I hope I can get to the door by the time I'm still birdified. Uh-oh, it's running low. Time to do some damage. Okay, you gotta take on this spectral well. That's shooting plates. This has a little bit of a Japanese flair, so to speak. But it looks like I'll probably need to bet the plates or not. I won. Bird's last ounce of energy got me the win. Just wow. It's time to exit the sewer. Now that I got the key, I can leave. Alright, so far so good. Had a little bit of trouble with one of the monsters, but now things are looking a little bit better. Wait a minute, that's not what I want to do. That is, however. Just where do these skulls come from? And why are these the only bones hanging around? Ugh, damn the phone! Time out. Okay, I'm back. That was a pretty short phone call, thankfully. But now, let's continue our quest to finish the level. Oh, yeah. I have a very good batting average, after all. Maybe Mark wasn't so bad as a baseball player. Usually, it involved, like, hitting a picture. I'm pretty sure that's all he's ever done in his baseball career. Hit pitchers. And there, that's the end of the level. So we're a little bit of the ways there, like 25% done. There's your password if you care to use it. Time for level 3 in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching.